it's time for Rewind. When we look at the films that opened 10 years ago and 20 years ago, of course, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. So let's go down the list. Celebrating their 10th anniversary of release this week, the Nick Cannon classic, Underclassmen. Oddly enough, to celebrate the opening of uh, Transporter um, Refueled this week is Transporter 2, opened 10 years ago this week, and the Ray Fiennes, Fiennes film The Constant Gardener. Opening 20 years ago this week, uh, the, the film that all of us have seen at least seven times, the Mark Harmon, Joshua Jackson classic, Magic in the Water. I'm kidding, none of you have seen this film. And, of course, the Christopher Walken, Viggo Mortensen, Virginia Madsen film, The Prophecy, which I do remember oh, yeah. opening in theaters. Schnepp, let's start with you. Which of these films stand out to you? <clears throat> well, several of them. I love The Prophecy. Yeah. I absolutely love that film. It was so much fun. The less said about the sequels of The Prophecy, the better. <laughs> but The Prophecy itself is a really fun take on the angels fighting the angels. And, you know, we're not done with heaven yet. You know, this whole you know, Christopher Walken playing Gabriel. Just incredibly fun cheeseball horror at its best. Um, the other one that sticks out to me is uh, The Constant Gardener. Fantastic film. Mm -hmm. You want to see a Depresso film? Check out The Constant Gardener. <laughs> yeah. Get depressed, son. Powerful, though. Yeah, very powerful. Rachel Wise is also in it. It's a great film. It's a probably a underrated film because it should be talked about more now than before. Um, and then I guess the last one for me was uh, Transporter 2. A lot of fun. I had forgotten about The Transporter 2 because, you know, it's 10 years ago. You're like all these action films with Jason Statham. Yeah, he's in a car. He's saying some quippy stuff. But then I watched the trailer and I was like, that's right. It's like him with the kid. You know, he's got to watch the kid, and there's that crazy chick who's like shooting at him. And it's like, it's really well done action scenes. And then it made me think back, oh, yeah. And he's always having like these little tea time talks with that one French detective <laughs> that he becomes friends with from, from the first transporter. So if you haven't checked out the, the transporter two or one, I would highly suggest both of those. They're both directed by Louis uh, Letier. Letier. Yeah. So. Those are really that's what remi that's what sticks out to me. Yeah, one of the ones that jumps out to me is is like you transport it too. I am reminded about how much of a guilty pleasure the first couple of Transporters movies are. I really enjoyed them. I had fun with them. Um, where that series has gone now is another issue altogether. <laughs> but I really did enjoy. It. But Magic in the Water is is one. It kind of embodies. It was a 1990s film, granted, but it was like. It felt, followed that formula of a 1980s, you know, the kids got to gather together to try to figure out a way to save the community center kind of thing, right? It's about this family goes to this lake and whatever, and, and they discover there's a mystical creature that lives in the lake, <gasps> but the mystical creature's life is in danger. Why? Because the evil corporations are dropping toxic waste into the lake. <laughs> it's going to kill Mark Harmon, a young Joshua Jackson. It's so cornball. But honestly, it's one of those films... That if you're ever in just kind of a nostalgia mood in your home, you and your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, the bowl of popcorn, want something just cheese ball that brings you back, maybe check out Magic in the Water when you get a chance. Not a great film, but it will take you back to the era. Anyway, Dennis, what stands out to you? Uh, the only one I saw on that list was The Constant Gardener. And the reason I saw it was because it was the same director and cinematography team as City of God, which is one of my favorite mm -hmm. movies. I like The Constant Gardener. I didn't love it. Uh, one, yeah, it is very, very depressing. Great performances. It's weird because I love the cinematography so much in, in City of God. They kind of brought the same style over to this movie, but I'm not sure if it works. Some of that handheld stuff, and they also saturated the colors a lot in it, mm -hmm. and it felt more like a dream-like thing when it was much more of a serious movie. So I, that that's what stands out to me. New Rose? Definitely The Constant Gardener. Um, Walkins welcome at all times. <laughs> all times. Favorite man ever. Um, and uh, what was the other one? Underclassmen, obviously. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I've Which never launched the career of Nick Cannon's <laughs> yeah. cinematic. It's a legacy. Um, yeah, Constant Gardner is definitely, I mean, love is always depressing, so of course they're going to, but Vice and Fines together talk about star power. Oh, the yeah. The chemistry, the intensity. It's, it's definitely a classic. The other ones, I can't say I've seen the Joshua Jackson film, which I feel a little sad admitting. Pacey, I'm sorry I let you down. Um, you and everybody else. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't 
don't feel bad about that at all. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was going to say magic in the water. I was looking at that poster and I was like, what's he sitting on? A whale? Is that some <laughs> kind of it's weird a, rock? A Loch Ness, no, Loch Ness monster. No, I know. And then I, when you mentioned that it was like some kind of Nessie, Bessie yeah. little baby. And I was like, oh, I know what it looks Nessie, like Bessie from seeing baby. all those special effects books that I would buy 20 years ago. I was like, I know what that creature looks like. <laughs> Never saw the movie. <laughs> Didn't even know what magic in the water. What is it about? What a weird 90s It's the prequel title. to M. Night Shamhammer's Lady <laughs> in the Water. <laughs> right. 